Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about flatness, how to evaluate it and how to understand the results. So let's get right to it. Flatness. Flatness represents the imposed condition of a surface to have all its points situated in a plane. Flatness deviation represents the maximum distance from the real measured surface and the adjacent plane. This is the flatness deviation, this is the real measured surface and this is the adjacent plane right here. The flatness tolerance represents the maximum, maximum permitted value of the flatness deviation. Tolerance zone for the flatness is situated between a parallel plane with the adjacent plane and the adjacent plane. Distance between them is equal to tolerance of flatness requirement. In a flatness deviation, we can have forms like concavity or convexity and any form, any deviated form. As we see here in the attached picture, we have a deformed surface and the local section on it. In order to see the negative and the positive points of the flatness deviation. So this is the negative local flatness deviation where we have A and where we have B is the positive local flatness deviation from this section. It's proven until now that the best way to evaluate the flatness is by minimum zone planes. In this picture we can see that we have an outer minimum zone reference plane, we have a mean minimum zone reference plane formed from the outer minimum zone reference plane and the inner minimum zone reference plane and the actual value of the measurement is the least separation between 1 and 3. Okay, so we are in GOM inspect with the GOM part again and we are going to evaluate the flatness of datum A, this plane from here. Okay, so first of all select datum A, then go to inspection, go to check GDNT, flatness good so this is how you evaluate the flatness of an of a plane in com inspect and if you want to see for example only the flatness only this element you will select e on your keyboard to see only the plane only the evaluated plane and to see better the tolerance and everything, I will put in the tolerance 10 millimeters. And now you can see better the tolerance frames and everything from here to here. It has to be 10 millimeters. This is the nominal plane. So let's see the mathematical definition of flatness tolerances of nominal integral features. In a coordinate system of arbitrary origin and orientation, a reference plane is defined by a point L and a unit direction N. So this is the point L right here, as we see from the origin. And this is the normal of the point, the N represents the normal of the point. Points P are a normal sign distance. So this is the point P and this is the distance from the reference plane. And we have here the formula. So D equals N, the normal times parentheses p minus l and we close the parentheses 
points P are restricted to being between two planes, each oriented parallel to the reference plane and separated from each other by the flatness tolerance T. So these are the two planes, okay? And as we can see in the formula, B is smaller or equal to D, uh, which is higher or equal to A. The tolerance equals A minus B, therefore the tolerance is higher than zero. This is it for today. As always, I hope my content helps you better understand things like this. If yes, leave a like, share and subscribe. Until next time, have a nice one.